Alhamdulillahi wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulullah wa ba'adu. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Firdausi Adam. I'm here with the continuation of this book, 40 Hadith for Children, with stories. The last contact was story number 7, which is titled Enable in Paradise. And today, inshallah, I'm with the story number 8, which is titled Tooth Medicine. One day, a very well-dressed stranger went to a restaurant in town. He told the waiter, I would like some well-done roast beef and some salad, please. As soon as he beat his first piece, he screamed in pain. Ah, my tooth is hurting again. Another stranger approached, holding a large bag in his hand. He took a small bottle from his bag and poured some liquid onto a piece of cotton and handed it to the man in pain. Swipe this cotton on your etching teeth. He said, the man did as he was told. Suddenly, he exclaimed, I don't feel the pain anymore. Everyone gathered around the man with the large bag, asking to buy the wonderful drug. The bottles in his bag were soon sold out. An hour later, the man with the toothache and the man with the large bag met at the railway station. They discussed how profitable their business had been in that town and congratulated one another. They sat and waited for the next train. Just then, two policemen came and arrested them. One of the people who had bought the fake medicine had gone to the police station when the medicine hadn't stopped his toothache. The police chief called the two men into his office and asked them, What is your religion? Are you Muslim? Without raising their heads, they said, We are Muslim. Thank God. The police chief got even angrier. Have you not heard the hadith of our Prophet? Whoever deceives us is not one of us. Arawahu Muslim. Muslim reported. Then he punished them. Alhamdulillahi, we have come to the end of this story. I hope you have learned a lot. The story number nine is titled The Wallet. We shall meet again. Subhanakallah Mobi Amdik. Ashadu Allah ilaha illa anta. Astagafdoka wa atubu ilay.